We are in Kansas City, Missouri for the Hall of Fame Classic, powered by Shot Tracker. This is the first time the, the NCAA has ever granted any tournament a waiver to have a technology like Shot Tracker actually integrated into the game experience. So it's cool because not only will it impact the fans, but also impact the players, the coaches, and then also the broadcast. Shot Tracker is a sensor-based solution that tracks statistics and analytics in real time for practice and games. Shot Tracker is made up of three components, a player sensor, a shot tracker enabled ball, and sensors placed around the facility and the arena. For the first time, coaches have access to box scores, shot charts, optimal lineups, advanced analytics on the bench during the basketball game. I don't think in the past that anyone even dreamed that we would have a tool that was worthy of being on the bench. Well, we have it now. Something we talk about at halftime are our assists to made field goals. Obviously before Shot Tracker, we're not able to see live the sides of the floor, the passes, the number of paint touches. It's more or less something that we're just tracking by hand. But now that we have all of this data, talking about points per possession, our field goal attempts, our turnovers, it's something that we took advantage of last night and that we talked about as a staff and then went into the locker room and shared with our guys. The Shot Tracker, it, it enhances the experience on and off the court. It gives fans a whole new way to track the game, to follow the game, right? From a broadcasting standpoint, it gives people a chance to see cool analytics and animation in, in addition to the game. The coaches will go back, they'll talk to the NCAA, they'll talk about the experience, and then hopefully you guys will see Shot Tracker in every gym across the country, and we'll look back on conversations like these and just laugh and remember where we were when this type of stuff happened. Anytime you want to change rules, normally you run into some resistance because people like it where it is. But what we have to do is we've got to educate and make them understand that this is good for the game. This would really help us with a rule change. Now on the NBA, they're allowing iPads and film. I think it's just a matter of time that we should allow this. Shot Tracker is to gyms what internet Wi-Fi is to coffee shops. Remember that because that's what we'll be remembering in a few years.